Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing extremely well. So today in this video, we are going to solve problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is form coils in a matrix, right? So first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, and then we will be proceeding to the coding part, right? But before proceeding further to the video, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed my channel till now, then guys do consider subscribing my channel it will really motivate me to create more such content for you and make sure to join our telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description sir. so with that note let's get started with the problem statement so the problem says given a positive integer n that represents dimensions of a 4n cross 4n matrix with values from 1 to 4 into n into 4 into n Filled from left to right and top to bottom, your task is to form two coils from matrix and print the coils. Follow the given examples for better understanding. So by the problem statement, perhaps you are not clear what actually they are trying to say. So let's understand with the example now. So we are having the value of n as 1, right? So accordingly, what will be the size of the matrix? So here you can see n is representing dimensions of a 4 cross 4, 4n cross 4n means here n value is 1 so 4 cross 4 so how many elements will be there there will be 16 elements from 1 to 16 here they have specified right so even you can see here that this is how the matrix will be formed from top to bottom 1 2 3 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so these are the elements now see we are having two coils so the first coil is like this 10, 6, 2, 3, 4, 10, 6, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16 and another one is 7, 11, 15, 14, 13, 9, 5, 1. Okay, so now if you will clearly observe here, so see, in this one, coil 1, we are having 8 elements, right? And in coil 2 as well, we are having 8 elements. So, how we can say like how many number of elements will be there in column 1 and column 2 it will be basically 8 into n square right so here n value is what 1 so that's why coil 1 is having 8 elements and coil 2 is having another 8 element now here in the example 2 if we will look so you can see n equal to 2 we have right so here n value is 2 so how many elements will be there in coil 1 and coil 2 8 n square so n value is what 2 so 8 into 4 32 so 30 so 32 elements will be there in coil 1 and other 32 will be there in coil 2. So here also you can see uh, explanation they have provided. that see how the like coil 1 we are getting 36, 28, 20, 21, 22, 30, 38, 46, 54. Like this is how it goes. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to complete the function form coils which takes an integer n as input and returns a vector of two vectors representing coil 1 and coil 2 expected time complexity they have a specified auxiliary space as well they have specified right so okay so it's more of an observation based problem right so we will observe the pattern we will observe like how this coil 1 and coil 2 is getting formed right and then we'll be proceeding to the coding part right so let's have a look on that so here's the first test case that we have taken n equal to 1 and this is the output we are getting right and here we do have the another one right we do have the another one let me increase the size of that uh, 60 okay and here this is the coil 2 and here is the another test case that we have taken so n values 2 here and this is coil 1 elements and this is coil 2 elements so first of all uh, let's focus on the coil 1 like how to get the elements of the coil 1 and we are having just this n value that is equal to 1 so here we are getting 10 so just think about it like how we can get 10 see it is for sure that in each coil we will be having 8 n square elements right so how we can achieve this 8 just think about it so 8 n square plus 2 n this will help us to get our first element so n value is what here it is 1 and here it also is it is 1 so we will be getting 10 now if n value is 2 here so 2 to the 4 what is 32 32 plus 4 36 and if you will check here for this n equal to 2 the first coil the first element is what 36 right but 
this will help us to get the first element only what about the next element like how to get all the remaining elements how we will get them so see the first element you have got is 10 if what we are going to do if what we will do if we if we will do the subtraction subtraction of what 4 so we will get 6 and here if you will check so we have 28 okay so 36 minus 4 36 minus 4 is not going to give us 28 if we are doing into 2 as well so we will get 28 so basically it's like whatever the previous element you were having you have to subtract 4n from it so here the n value was 1 so we got 6 here the n value is 2 so we will put 2 and we will get 28 okay so this is it then we have 2 10 6 2 then we have 2 so for 2 also the element we got is 6 so 6 minus 4 into 1 which is nothing but 2 okay then we have what 3 see here what is happening the directions is changing and the number of step is also changing so here if you will see first we move here then here then we move in this direction right we move in like we took these many steps then we move down in the downward direction right we took see we are starting from how many steps two steps these two this two then steps become one two three four one two three four one two three four and then here here if you will check so one two three four five 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, right, so steps is increasing. First, there are 2, then 4, then 6. So, we have to take care of two components. First is step C. And direction also matters. See, when we are here, the values are like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This was like this. Then here, the values are decreasing. So, we have to take care of the direction part as well. So, steps we need, which is been initialized with 2 and we need a direction as well which we are going to initialize with 1 right now we have to move here so here we are simply getting 3 and 4 right so these two steps we are we have taken now for the next two steps we are simply incrementing the value by 1 here you can see that now here if I have to show you so, so here also you can see 36 28 we got then later on what we are doing is we are incrementing by 1 to so 20 21 22 first what we have to do we have to achieve this we have to achieve 20 we achieved right so what we have to do so simply for the next two steps because see as of now we are taking two steps only for the next two steps just simply add one to the value the previous value so the previous value was what here it was what it was two so 2 plus 1 we will get 3 and 3 plus 1 we will get 4. So 3 and 4 also we got. Similarly here also 20 plus 1, 21, 21 plus 1, 22 we got. Right. Now we are moving. So 10, 6, 2, 3, 4. Now we have to move in this direction. Right. Now we have to move below. So now we are moving below. So what will we doing is direction direction value we took right here this is one so now we are going to update the direction to negative or simply we can do this, something like this that we are multiplying this with minus one so first it was one that is going to be minus one then again it would be multiplied so it will become positive to one again so now we are moving downwards what is the value four four is the previous value right so again the same formula will work the same formula element minus four into n is it going to work so element is what 4 minus 4 into 4 into n but here we are not taking direction so it means what we have to include one more uh, variable here that is direction in our expression here we were just taking n we have to include this direction as well so before the direction was 1 that's why it didn't contribute to anything but now it is minus 1 so 4 minus 1 into minus 1 so we will get we will get what 4 minus minus the 4 right and it will give us what 8 and that's what we are having right now if you will put 8 here so 8 minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 so we'll be having 8 minus minus the 4 12 if you will put 12 here so 12 minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 so we'll be having what we'll be having what 12 positive 4 positive 4 and we will be 
be removing 16, right? So it is 12 minus 12 minus minus the 4. Okay, so we'll be having 16. Okay, we got 16. We got all these value 10, 6, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16. Now we have to see again the same thing happened. Again the same thing happened. That value, see this time value is decrementing. So again where we were adding, adding this now 3 then 4. So you can see simply in the element we were adding that direction. So before the direction was positive, hence the value were increasing by 1. Now the direction uh, is negative. Direction is what? Direction is negative. So it would be, the values will be see 16. Okay, okay. This is already done, right? So 10, 6, 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16. Let me check then here, here if I can explain. So 36, 28, 20, 21, 22, you know that how we got this. This one also 30. 38, 46, 54, the thing is same, right here also we will, if you will use the same method, so what was the uh, formula we were using, element minus 4 into n into direction, so the previous element is what, previous element is 22 minus 4 into 2 into minus 1, so you will be having what, 22 minus minus 8 and you will be having 30, if you will put rest of the values, rest of the values right 30 minus 4 into minus 1 so we will get what 38 similarly 38 we got so 38 minus 4 into 2 minus 1 you will get what 46 now 46 minus 4 into 2 into minus 1 so 48 46 plus 8 you will be getting 54 right now see the direction thing that is specified above right so here what we are going to happen, see the number of steps this time is 4. So we have to increment our steps as well before it was 2, now it is 4. So we will be basically taking a loop for that. So we will do what? Whatever the element is, just simply simply add direction to it. So this time direction is negative, so 54 minus 1 will be getting 53. Similarly, 53 minus 1 will be getting 52, then 51, then 50. Then again we are moving upward. Again we are moving 1, 2, 3, 4. Right. We are moving upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So uh, can we use the same formula? Yeah, right. Of course we will be using the same formula. And this time, this time direction will be what? Direction will be changed to into minus 1. So it will be positive direction. Right. See here also because see now this time when we will use the direction for this part so the value will be positive common and hence these values will be incremented. So again you will do 4 element minus 4 into direction. So element is what 50 right 50 minus 4 into 2 into positive direction it is. So 50 minus 8 will be having 42 right so simply that is what is happening right. So you must be clear that how we can get the coil 1. Coil 1 part must be clear for you. Now for coil 2, once you have got the coil 1, once you have got the coil 1, so it is very easy for you to get the coil 2. Let's understand how. How it's easy to get the coil 2. See, if we are simply doing what with 16n square plus 1, if we are subtracting the ith elements that we do have in the coil, coil 1, coil 1, so we can simply get the elements of coil 2. Like simply we have to take a look. So n value is here 1. So 16 plus 1 17 minus 10 if you are doing. 17 we got from this now. 17 minus this 10 we got 7. 17 minus 6 we got 11. 17 minus 2 15. 17 minus 3 14. 17 minus 4 13. 17 minus 8 9. 17 minus 12 5. 17 minus 16 1. Here also you can cross check. So we were taking what 16 n square. So n is 2 here. So 16 into 4 plus 1. That is 64 plus 1, 65. So 65 minus 36. So you will be getting 29. 65 minus 28. So you will be getting 37. 65 minus 20. So you will be getting 45. 65 minus 21 so you will get 44 so like this is how you have to do for achieving the coil 2 right 
so i hope that you must be clear with the with this part like how to get the elements of coil 1 and coil 2 it's more of an observation problem and it it can take time right and even um, you have to do dry run if you are not able to understand it once do watch the video again and do a dry run from your side as well uh, you will be able to understand right so let's move to the coding part now so here you can see we are returning a 2d array right so m value is going to be what see i already specified right that in each coil how many elements will be having 8 n square 8 n square elements will be having right so that's why if you can see we have specified the size and also we have to turn two coils right we have to take two coils so the rows will be two and the columns will be m right so in the first element of the coil one how we were doing the extraction how we were calculating that so 8 n square plus 2 n so now because we need the previous element that we have calculated so we are storing this mat of 0 0 in element we need direction which has been initialized with 1 we need a step which is initially 2 and then i value so till the time i value is less than m we will continue so first you what you must have seen right that for some steps we were using this formula and when we were proceeding other steps we were using this thing right we were incrementing by one also simply decrementing by one right that's what we were doing so here you can see we have taken this loop j less than step and we are simply using that particular formula only that we discussed and see we are storing the value in mat in mat array and the element as well because we need the previous element value to do the further calculation now in the loop itself we are making sure that i should not exceed m it should not like if it is greater than or equal to m we have to simply break right here also we are checking the same thing and we are taking this another loop right so here we are simply doing what element plus direction okay and here in this value itself we are doing the updation updation of direction is we are simply decrementing we are like we are simply multiplying this with minus one so that value will be direction value will be updated to minus uh, minus one and a step value we are incrementing with 2 because you must have seen like when I was explaining so steps are increasing by 2, 2, 4, 6 like this is how they are incrementing. So this is the part for determining coil 1. For coil 2 we don't have to do uh, much like you can see. We are having this for loop simply taking this loop till k less than m and we are simply calculating each element by using 16 n square plus 1 minus the element that we do have in mat 0 of k right so this is how we will get both of our coil 1 and coil 2 arrays and simply we are returning this mat right so i hope the problem statement the logic part and the coding part is clear for you i have provided this code in the description itself so you can refer that as well thank you so much everyone for watching don't forget to share and subscribe my channel if you have liked this video and please do hit that like button thank you everyone